Hi, this is Kim Pinkney and welcome to my channel. Alrighty, so today I am going to work on a uh, Peebo. Now I'm also deciding uh, whether or not I want to go ahead and um, give him a background, like a, uh, I don't know, something, some sort of maybe steampunk background, uh, possibly hot air balloon or um, just having maybe some gears in the background. I want something kind of romantic. So I'm, I'm trying to think steampunk and romance. Um, kind of hard with a bunch of gears behind you, <laughs> making all that noise. Um, but I think I might come up with maybe, um, maybe a background. Maybe he's outside on a, uh, maybe on the edge of a hot air balloon or something like that. And he's just looking over maybe a skyline or something. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, let's see. Still trying to debate what I want to do. But uh, this is pretty much uh, going to be the time lapse of uh, me working on here for anybody who's missed a um, couple days. Yeah, I think I can find a little bit of a horizon, but something a little bit more romantic. It always looks just a smidge poca uh, apocalyptic with, uh, you know, like... I'm thinking maybe because every time I think of steampunk I think of like an urban jungle and maybe maybe not that maybe it is that but somehow being with this guy hearing his music you you kind of see the beauty behind that urban jungle so that is what I'm going to try to do I think behind him I want to do I think of the so the colors that I'm using are like a burgundy and green. Um, he's got like this reddish tone, so it's like he's at sunset. Uh, so maybe a sunset, maybe the sun setting behind him or in front of him. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yep, yep. These are the thoughts that go through the mind. <laughs> These are things that I should have kept in mind uh, as I was doing it, but it was just going to pretty much be a portrait. It wasn't, I didn't have a, a background in mind. So as I was uh, drawing him, I'm listening to like Clive Barker. So here I am trying to harness my romance stuff, uh, listening to a Clive Barker audio book. And every other chapter has something to do with genitals, uh, what is this called? Genitals, disemboweling, uh, humiliation, and what is that called? Um, and feces, lots of feces, lots of blood, lots of feces. Yeah, nothing, nothing screams romance like listening to Clive Barker. Um, let's see, and lots of organs, organs and appendages and... Lots of vaginas, lots of well-endowed penises, just nothing screams horror like just an overabundance of all of that. So as I'm listening to his audiobook, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to draw this, this picture and I'm like, okay, this is not, I don't think this is really bringing out my uh, <laughs> romantic side. <laughs> Maybe I really have to choose wisely what I listen to. As I draw, <laughs> be responsible. So, um, yeah, I should have been listening to uh, People Bryson music, and that would have probably set the mood, the tone a bit. Okay, so this is pretty much where I left off. I have a long coat, these tacky buttons, which are gonna go bye bye. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and because they're just so vibrant and bright, and it's unnecessary. He doesn't have to be matching boy. He just has to be. And maybe I'll, I, I was trying to put this uh, uh, Afro, um, I'm sorry, African like type print onto the buttons. Um, but because of the color, it's kind of clashing. So maybe if I just change the color of the buttons, I might be a good shape. But um, 
It doesn't look like they're going to go anywhere because I have them all on the same layer like a dumb bunny. So let me see if I can take my print and then I'm going to change it to a darker color. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and isolate them. And I think what I could do is maybe link them together in some way. But then again, you know, this is supposed to be a coat. Got to keep thinking practical. So what I'm going to do is select all the buttons. And uh, I'm going to uh, just pretty much change the color, maybe either to a red or, let's see, or even just take the brightness down. Uh, let's see what we got. Ooh, that's gaudy. Just changing the hue. So far, I'm not liking any of it so far. Far. If I bring the saturation down, yeah, that doesn't seem to be helping either. Oh yeah, oh here we go. Now they're ugly black buttons. Let me see, so we got black. Maybe I can get to red maybe. See that was blue. Okay, maybe not that. Let's see, how about recolor? And change it to maybe a deep dark red. I can't tell what this is doing. Oh, here we go. Come on. There we go. Nothing's happening. Come on, you recolor. Okay, let's see. Maybe if I change this, we'll just make that red. Do, do, do. Let's see. Oof. Black. <laughs> we'll make it black. Or maybe I'll just take them off all the way. Just one of those mornings. Let's see. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's try. Uh, it's I don't think it's selected anymore. There we go. I mean, I like the idea of the pattern. It's just it's not working. You're not working. You got go bye bye. And I need to clean up my lines. I gotta get rid of all that stuff. Um, this yellow here is killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Okay, so what I'll do is like an overall tone to this. Let's throw it on another layer. Uh, we got that color. We'll drop it down a little bit. Just darken everything up a bit. It's just a little too bright. Now I was thinking about throwing something steampunky in here, and so far I don't have anything on him because he's not, I don't have him as a scientist or anything like that. Maybe, let's see, let me try the background here. Um, let's see, so steampunk has this like vintage color, it's like a, a yellowish uh, parchment type color. Let's see. Like an off. It's like everything's a little dingy. Uh, so let's see if I can capture a little bit of that. Make this a little bigger. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do down here. Maybe 
give him some pants. That here. Give him some. Give him some black pants. Thinking of uh, soot and whatnot. Let's see, and throw that around the background here. Let's see, do do do. I gotta tame my brush here. Make that a little darker. Maybe use that black just for his pants. Okay, so we've got, we'll put some clouds on the horizon. Uh, we'll use like a shade of blue. Uh, let's see. And we'll kind of make it kind of tealish looking. Here we go, about that tone. Make sure I'm on the right layer here. Let me back it up. Let's give it a nice light tone here. And then we'll throw some clouds in there. Do, 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 do. But we'll we'll throw the clouds in. But we'll give it like the clouds a little bit of a teal color, like it's been kind of muted a bit by. Oops. Make that brighter. And we'll have, where should we have the sun? Maybe off to a side here. Let's see, when the sun starts to set, I think it gets darker up at the top there. So let's see. We'll give it like a... Or maybe if I'm thinking romance, not a sunset. Let's see, maybe... Maybe it's deep dark blues, and that'll contrast with some of the reds here. Let's see. And then maybe uh, some dark grays in the background uh, for the, what is it called, um, factories. And I think what I'll have is like some factories in the very, very background here. Let's see, we'll have to throw some lights somewhere around here. Uh, maybe the lights of the city are down below, so let's give that a little bit more of a, let's see, maybe a whitish yellow tone. So like maybe he brought us to this one area where there's steam. But they're coming from come on you. Let's see. Perspective, perspective. Cause I kinda want the steam to kind of make a heart or something like that. Some sort of thing like that. Okay, so let's see. We'll throw another layer in. 
probably throw another one in and make it considerably darker. Let's see. on him. So bring that down. Okay, let's see where let's see. So, uh, okay, here we go. We'll call that the moon, which gives us a little bit of light here. And then we'll just give it some texture, uh, some grays. But I gotta kinda make it dingy. Um, let's see, we'll have very light blue coming from the city. Oops. on a different layer here. Okay, let's get our moon back. Give it, we'll put white on the inside of it. And then have a little bit of it trailing. We have the blue sky beneath that. gray. Make those down a little bit. Whoops. Helps be on the right layer.
maybe a telescope. Uh, we need stars. Definitely need stars. Let's see if I've got anything that'll kind of give us a speckle effect. Try cotton for clouds. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Clouds would end up being like a. Let's see. So wherever the light is, the clouds would be colored just a smidge. layer. I want it behind him. Let me back that up. Let's see if we can make these be steam. kind of want to make the steam look like we'll bring that down a bit maybe it can come out into like a heart type of shape gotta remember to throw some black um, some buildings, let's see, that's not, ooh, here we go, just have all kinds of crazy steam coming out, maybe it's soot, it's like a cobra, <laughs> Just the filth from the city. Damn urban jungle. Okay, so maybe if I take a bit of a gray tone. Just kind of make, let's see, let's see what industrial has for us. Nothing that I can use. Okay, no worries. Uh, da -da. So what I think I'll do oh, is push. Stuff to the right. Okay, it will darken the city a bit, darken the sky a bit. some now, I know there's something here that I could probably use for stars let's see make it small Let's see. 
it does look more like snow. Okay, let's see. Wrong brush. Wrong brush. Okay. So I think I want to put a rail behind him or something. Let's see. if I can get this let's see oh uh, yeah I, I need him to hold his hat um, Oh, oh, a balcony. Here we go. Um, do, do, do. I need, I need, 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 need. Uh, I'm going to merge these guys together. I'm kind of happy with that. Let's see if I take that off. That's not too bad. I'll leave it on for now. Okay. So the balcony is going to be behind him, the rail at least. Come on, you. Uh, and I kind of want it to be kind of like gray, uh, but like a bluish gray. Let's see, this is red, so maybe a greenish gray. It'll be up in this area right here. Okay. brush or actually we'll try this one for a sec because I want something that'll give me a texture okay so the balcony will be about that high oops that's too big I'm straight. There we go. And we'll give it a pattern. Whoops. At least so I can see it.
Oh, you know I should use a Zentangle. That would be cool. something else. Uh, clear, clear, clear. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, um, ba, 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 ba. how should I do it? Um, ba, ba, ba. I know I want a rail. this rough look about it and maybe I'll throw okay no actually where are those harder brushes there we go straight. It's terrible. I've got lines here. Okay. Ah, doo -doo -doo. Be nice if... Let me see. I've got a grid, so hopefully the grid's going to help me here. It's like, by the way, Kim, you have a grid. Mm. I have to get right up on it because I can barely see it. I'm a little off, but that's okay. We'll make it work. All right on a different layer. I don't want to screw up the, the line again. I could always move it again. Let's see. But anyway, where are we here? Oh yeah. Okay. So let's see. Let me see if I can find a Zentangle that would look really nice. Um, oh, excuse me. Pinterest. I have some Zentangles saved on Pinterest that I liked. Uh, under my favorite tangles. Ooh, this is a pretty one. Okay. Um, let's see. So this one here, and I'm going to see if I can just repeat the pattern. Let me make one. Um, it starts off that's ugly um, back back is it the brush yeah it is the brush okay we'll try studio pen ooh Actually, that wasn't that bad. Bring that back down. And then just 
curl it under. Okay, let's at least try to look a little symmetrical of some sort. That's not going to happen. Can't blame being on a bus. Let's try it again. I could do one side and then just duplicate the side. Tangle. Okay. I did. This comes from here, and then from here, it goes to this little point. So we'll take this. Oh, I put the line on the same layer. Damn it. Okay, that's okay. Let's see if we can fix it. Um, duplicate. Actually, I don't have to. Let's see. <laughs> I can't see with these lines in the way. All right, good enough for government work. Stop. Okay, and then merge those guys together. Let's see, we'll duplicate it one more time. Um, flip vertical. There we go. Let's see, 
don't want to move it. Just so it makes a really nice complicated pattern. So I got that going on. I'll go ahead and merge these guys together. All right, so now let's see if we can throw some effects on here. Um, since we have a little bit of light coming from somewhere, we're gonna go ahead and select this. Select, damn you. Okay, and then we'll throw some yellow-ish stuff on there. So now what should have been selected is the that particular layer. And I'm going to use one of these rough brushes to give it kind of like a rough texture. I'm hoping. <laughs> Oil pastels, really nice rough texture. And I want to color it with a little bit of this yellow-ish tone. Make that a little bigger. Kind of brush the metal and then we'll make the top part like maybe a little bit of blue blue gray give it that weird metal look. Uh, give it a little bit of highlights here and there. Just to lighten it up where he is. Well, actually, around him. Make it a little darker. Coming down. And maybe even tone it black. Let's see. Stop. Okay, so we got that. We're back on this layer. Select it one more time. And. <laughs> you see, that's it being a little brighter. We don't want to attract too much attention to it. There we go. Taking the brightness down even further. All right, lovely. So we've got that in front of him. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So we're kind of, maybe he's looking at us from a balcony. Oh, I should have a telescope just to make him look kind of pervy. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, and we'll darken, well, I kind of like that it has this just a little bit of a barrier between us and him. Let's see. We'll duplicate this. And we'll throw it behind him. And then we'll raise it up a bit or maybe make it smaller. want to just make it seem like he's enclosed maybe down below and this one will definitely make darker okay uh, so maybe some factories or something in the back um, just trying to figure out how I want to do it We 
we can probably move this one down a little bit. We don't want it to be too obnoxious. Maybe a little off-centered. this one up a bit. Okay, so now what I need is to put something behind him so he doesn't look transparent. Um, he's white. Or maybe black. Let's see. And that should hide this from coming. Oh, and I like how it adds a little bit more darkness there. So he's kind of lit up here, so it means I've got to light up uh, other parts of him. Um, so give him a little bit of... Give him a little bit of the yellow light on his shoulder, on his hat, and we'll narrow it down, and we'll kind of blend it into his shoulder, I'm on him, okay. Sort of like a little rendezvous with uh, Peebo Bryson. I could think of worse things. I'm sure his wife could. <laughs> we'll throw a little bit of light on that side of him. We'll maybe color it a different color. Maybe a... Let's see, what other color can I get from the city? Maybe a blue or light. And we'll have that come off of the city. Off that side. And if it comes off the city there, it's got to come on to these here. Maybe. Just give them a slight halo effect. Just elegant man. Get that love at first sight action going on. Okay, so I wanted to put his hand on his hat. And I might want to do some other things to his hat too. We'll clean up some of this stuff, make it a little bit more softer. So that my lines aren't so harsh. Make his buttons look more like buttons. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a little bit of like an African theme here, and on his hat, but we need a steampunk. I need more steam, more steam. Turn the moon into a big gauge or something like that. 
that's not too bad. I need factories or something in the... Maybe an airship. Let's throw an airship in there. Um, let's see. We'll throw an airship in there with... Um, African pattern or something like that. Something, something like a big bird or giraffes in the sky or something that will, something that kind of looks like Africa or nature. You know, and I, I think I want him to look a little older, a little bit more distinguished. Uh, I like the, the gray at the temple idea. It's kind of like a little vampire-ish, um, but still like elegant romantic. Um, <laughs> there's my fine hair brush. There we are. I love this brush. Okay, so we'll give him like some blue gray at his temples. I don't know. I don't want to age him too badly. Let's see. Uh, and it does kind of remind me of uh, of Dracula, just a smidge. Nobody said that cat wasn't uh, romantic in his own little way. Knew how to give. He knew how to give great hickeys. Let me make these a little bigger. There we go. I'm giving that texture in his hair. Oh yeah, if anybody could carry this look off, it would be Peebo. Let's see. We'll give him a little bit of blue in his hair. Maybe purple. Take it down. I might not even do this. I don't know. He just looks hot. Okay. It just adds a little something. Take it down so he doesn't look like Grandpa. There we go. Maybe that hot uncle. Woof. There's a story in here, I can feel it. There we go. And we'll kind of give it... We'll let the, the white kind of do this sort of thing. I've devoted my life to music and romance. And technology. Come share it with me at the moonlight. In the moonlight or something like that. But I think I need musical notes. That's what I need. So let's see. Uh, I like the hearts. The abstract hearts. But I think it would be better served with musical notes. Um, let's see. Where can I put them? Where should I put your musical notes? Mm. Try to put them in the stars. Oh, 
there was a symbol that I saw made of a musical note, and I think it was a star. I've drawn it before. Um, let see if I can find it. Um, <laughs> there it is. Okay, it was a bunch of little notes like this. So maybe if I... Um, shoot. I need white. Okay, we'll put it on its own layer in case it looks too dumb. Okay. That's a hair. Back, back, back. Back, beast. Back. Okay, there we go. Um, I want a brush that... I could do... Let me see something. No, nope, that's not going to work. I was thinking about taking one gear there we go made up of a whole bunch of gears See if I can shape it a little bit. That's not too bad. Okay. Tell me I put it on its own layer. I didn't. God dandruff. Hate it when I do that. Okay, it's alright. I can do this. Alright. Alright. And I'll duplicate it. So now it'll have one on its own layer right there. And then I can erase this one. Okay, and that should be off Peebo's layer. Heck, no, <laughs> I can't win. Okay, um, okay, so we got it selected. Okay, go back, back. Come on, give me my selection. It will not. Okay. Fine. All right. Select the beast again. Um, put it on its own layer so it'll be duplicate. <sighs> okay. Be on this layer. Erase this beast. Okay, so now it should be on its own layer. Yes. Woof, talk about pulling teeth. Okay, so let's deselect it. And I want to make a star out of it. So, be on the right layer. Okay. You're going to be a beast about this, aren't you? Okay, so there's that. And then we duplicate it. Where'd you go? Oh, right here. Crap, it's almost time to go. God dandruff. I want to at least finish this. Okay, got that. 
so close. Oh, don't be a reset. Okay. Duplicate. Select it. Turn it. Uh, turn it. Almost there. Let me see. Five minutes, Mom. Five more minutes. Maybe I could just do this. Um, merge them together and then duplicate this and flip it vertically. There we go. And horizontally. And then we have a bit of a star shape sort of wait a minute somebody's getting funky okay goes in that direction let's see did I make too many I did god dandruff okay so maybe if I have to spin it um, keep this guy together. No, that's not going to work. This needs to be closer. These two need to be closer. Rats. Okay. That was an idea. So who's perfect? Okay. This needs to be right here. Just need one more after this one. I'm going to mess up and end up missing my bus like a dumb bunny because I had to make a heart. I mean, I had to make a star. Okay, here we go. And since everybody's symmetrical, this should have worked. Let's see. you and I think the only one that's throwing it off is this one right here almost there I got you people I got you um let's see so basically these are supposed to be a bunch of gears in the shape of a musical instrument or musical note and in the shape of a star Woo -woo! okay so 
episode. But you won't be able to see the gears unless you're like right up on their butt. So I don't know if this is, this was for nothing. It's never for nothing. So you have to be like right up on it in order to see that constellation. <laughs> but that's where we are thus far. You guys, thank you so much for joining me, watching, and um, just like I did with Eve this morning, I'm going to go ahead and um, find the right song and add this to the video. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this, but make it smaller. Oh, that's even brighter. Maybe if I throw... Um, I want to brighten it. Um, do, do, do. Kim, you only got a certain amount of time. I get ghost. There we go. We'll lighten up that star. I am love, baby. Okay. And we'll take this one down. Oh, that's kind of dumb. Yeah, we don't need that one. Day late. Okay, so we got our star constellation that he had to show his lady love or significant other. out on the balcony. I don't know, maybe I should make it smaller. I definitely want it behind him. I'm a star, baby. I make you a star, too. But it's nothing but... Gears. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see, I kind of liked it when it was bigger and behind him. I need to get rid of the moon. Or maybe he should be holding this in his hand. Let's see. I want to be able to see it. You can see it, all right. Okay. Good enough for government work. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.